question of the day. What game comes to mind as the worst game that you can remember in a Pokemon tournament? Let me know in the comments. In the last international event before COVID took VGC offline for a few years, viewers and players were all forced to witness one of Pokemon history's worst ever games, even though it was between two amazing players. In the finals of the Oceania International Championship of 2019, an unexpected war of attrition took place in game one of the final set. Eduardo and Luke had both shown up with the exact same team, which was a rather unique take on the Xerneas Lunala combination. And you may also note that both teams included Stack Attacka. Stack Attacka was a late development into the 2019 VGC meta that took off to great success, as it was a tool commonly helpful into opposing Xerneas Lunala comps. Due to Stack Attacka being great into opposing Xerneas Lunala comps, it was a natural occurrence that both players would need to use their Stack Attacka. However, this ended up backfiring in an unusual way. As the two players navigated through the early game, they both found themselves facing each other's brick walls in a gruesome 1v1. Since both movesets were Gyro Ball, Rock Slide, Trick Room, and Protect, neither Stack Attacka could really deal more than about 6 damage to the other one. To make matters worse, both players were trying to use Protect on the opposing attacks to burn their PP, and they also often went for Trick Room to avoid wasting their own PP on a Protect. Luckily for Eduardo, a Moonguise beam directed at Luke's stack attacker in the very first turn of the game gave him a small advantage of about 45% HP to be able to win the race, if we can even call it a race. Due to the lack of an in-game timer, the only method to control the time limits of a set involved resorting to a judge-controlled timer of 50 minutes for the entire best of three, which meant that nothing could stop this boring showdown that unfolded. Eventually, Edu was able to get the KO before running out of PP and winning the game, but at what cost? It's widely speculated and agreed that this very match was the reason for the return of the game timer in Gen 8, as TPCI took notice to this atrocious game that was only able to occur due to timer rules of the time. To me, it's really amazing how one game can legitimately change the way the game is played forever afterwards.